Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can make a USB recovery drive for macOS 15 Sequoia. Before you can start, you'll need a USB flash drive with 32 gig of storage space available. And you'll also need a Mac that's running a supported version of macOS that can be upgraded to macOS Sequoia. The process is the same for both an Apple Silicon and an Intel based Mac. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the macOS Sequoia installer and you'll have to get that from the App Store. So if you're Apple logo, App Store, generally it might be down here somewhere. So I can see it here, so we've got macOS Sequoia. You might just have to type Sequoia into the search bar, press enter and then it should be the first one on the list. So I'll just click into that. And at that point you just click on get or buy or install, whichever it is. It's free at charge upgrade, so if it says buy, you'll not be charged for anything. That'll then download and it'll take a while. The only thing I will say is don't download this through system settings because that downloads a completely different installer. Once it's downloaded, if you into applications, you should see it here. So that's downloaded. So we don't want to open that. What we want to do now is attach our USB flash drive and there's the flash drive. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure there's no files on there. This one's an empty drive, so there won't be any files on. But just know that if you do have files on there, you need to take them off and put them somewhere else because this drive will be erased. The next thing I would recommend doing is if you've got any spaces in the name of the USB drive, just remove them. So I've got it named as USB space stick. So if I just press enter and then just delete that space, it'll make it a lot easier. Just make a note of the name of that USB drive. In my case, it's USB stick. Next, we need to open a terminal program. So the default one that's installed in macOS is under applications and then utilities and then terminal. The next thing we need to do is actually run the installer. I've already got this copied in here, so I'm just going to paste it in. Now, it looks like a lengthy command because it is. The complete command is actually in the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste it out from there. The only thing we need to do now is where it says name of USB disk, we just need to delete that up to that forward slash and then put the name of this USB stick here or whatever the name of your USB flash drive is. So in my case, it's USB stick. So I'll just type that in, USB stick, and then go back to the end and then just press enter. It'll ask you for your password and then the installer should run. Now at this point, it looks like it's not doing anything. It actually is, it's just doing it in the background. It's just not outputting anything to the screen. So just leave it. If it asks you to approve the permissions for the terminal to access files on the volume, just click allow. And we can now see it's copying files to the uh, USB flash drive. It's also changed the name of the flash drive because it erases the disk during the uh, installation process. So you'll have a new icon on your desktop appear with the name of install macOS Sequoia. And that's the installation disk created. You can now close down the terminal just by doing Command Q. Now if we just have a quick look at what's on the disk, you can see it just says install macOS Sequoia. We'll close that down. Now to boot off of that drive, if you're on an Apple Silicon Mac, you need to shut the machine down, hold the power button until the boot menu comes up, select the disk and then click continue. If you're on an Intel Mac, again, make sure the machine's shut down. Now, before you press the power key, hold down the option key. The boot menu should then appear. You can let go of the option key, select the disk, and then click continue. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.